just started. Nice to see you all today. Uh, just a quick note that I'm going to teach some extra classes in December. I always do because I like to do more yoga when it's dark outside. And so check the schedule. There's going to be a couple of re evening restoratives and a winter solstice restorative. And then the schedules changes a little bit over the holidays always. So um, keep an eye out though. The next three Saturday mornings, I will be here like I usually am. And then another nudge, if anyone doesn't have uh, yoga blocks, I encourage you to get some for your practice because I like to use them. I usually use cork blocks. Those are the ones that I like. The squishier ones are a little bit cheaper and easier to use, but they're harder on your wrists. And so uh, depending on what you prefer, the ones I use are the, um, actually, I don't know where the ones I use come from. They came when my yoga studio closed. I just bought them from her. But I know they sell cork blocks at Jade Yoga, which is um, one of the stores that I like to get kind of recycled, reused stuff at. So um, I recommend those, uh, but any cork blocks would be fine as long as they're not too, too, too far. So I encourage you to put them on your list. And I was super excited because my son and daughter-in-law asked me for yoga blocks for uh, Christmas when we were practicing together at Thanksgiving. And I was like, oh, I should tell everyone to get themselves some yoga blocks or have someone get them for you. So um, I encourage you to connect with some of those in your life it, this month, if you can. And so with that, we will find a comfortable seat, finding your sit bones or your ischial spines and connecting them into the earth underneath you. And taking a moment here just to connect with yourself, wherever you are in the world, connecting with your seat and the firmness of the earth underneath you and connect with your breath. Taking a breath in, and out, taking a moment to find presence. Find your breath, find your body, perhaps wiggle your fingers and toes to notice them. And then notice that breath, breathing in and breathing out long and slow. If it's comfortable for you, I encourage you to close your eyes, allowing yourself to settle in even more into the body. Yoga is about mind, body, and spirit, but the body is the key part of it. But the body is where we house everything. And when we're not in our body, everything is disorganized to say the least. And so yoga is a chance to practice coming back to yourself, coming back to your human body and where everything is housed. And notice if your hands are face down or face up, either is fine. My intention for today's class is to connect with strong. And I'll explain what I mean by that in a minute. But noticing if your hands feel more strong down, facing down, or facing up. Either could be strong for you. Strong might be receptive, or strong might be hand pressure on the thighs, or just connecting with your skin. Noticing which hand position feels strong. And then attend to your body and find a seated position that feels strong to you. Strong being perhaps stable, steady, secure, grounded, centered. And tilt your pelvic bowl forward and align your spine, noticing that aligned also feels strong. And breathe in once again and out. And notice that when calm arrives with the breath, it also feels strong. And so connecting with what within you already feels strong. And just enjoying that for a moment. We always notice what needs improvement or what is not strong. 
And this word strong came to me as part of an intention setting practice, which I'm going to record a podcast about with Ni Chang right after this. But the I choose words for the year. And the word that immediately came to mind, or one of them is strong. And it came from this desire to be strong or to feel strong. And then I started to think about, well, what is strong actually? And what does it feel like to be strong? And that's actually what I want. And I think so many people say, well, I need to build muscle as I get older, or I need to get in shape so I'm strong. Or we think of strong as able to weather challenges and um, other people that maybe don't have boundaries, we need to be strong. And yet strong is an internal job and connecting with how you are already strong, connecting with the parts of you that are centered and calm. And this class is going to be about appreciating and celebrating strong. Obviously, as you do that, you enjoy the strong and you perhaps build more strength. But when you think about this word strong, it's a very empowered, loving and kind word, or it can be. And that's my invitation today. So what would it feel like to feel strong in your body, in your mind, and in your spirit? And perhaps bring a hand to heart and another hand atop just for the exploration of this word strong and how you might like to feel strong and what's required to feel strong. Perhaps peace, perhaps feeling free, perhaps actually feeling unburdened is strong. Perhaps being able to speak up or advocate for yourself is strong. And they, for those of you who struggle with your bodies, or perhaps even if you don't struggle with your bodies, just appreciating the strength of that your body demonstrates every day. It walks, climbs stairs. For many of you, it's birthed children. It's done surgeries. Your body is inherently strong. And certainly you might want certain parts of it to feel more strong, but more from a place of desire. Perhaps you want stronger arms to lift, lift grandchildren. Perhaps you want stronger arms to lift groceries. Perhaps you want stronger arms to be able to enjoy yoga more. That's a different desire than to go lift weights. And so just connecting with this idea of strong. And for those of you who have been with me for a while, remembering that when we connect with how we are already something, it actually allows us to grow it in a much more easeful way. And so the invitation of connecting with how you're already strong does not mean that you don't need or want to be stronger. It's actually the path to feeling stronger. And when we feel stronger, we act stronger, we show up stronger, and we are inherently stronger. And so come back to your breath and notice that the breath makes you strong. <clears throat> notice that hand to heart makes you feel more grounded, centered, and likely strong. Notice that calm feels much more strong than frazzled, chaotic, or out of control. Slowing down can often feel strong. And a strong heart has an effective and full diastole. It's flexible. It fills. It pauses. What is the invitation in that for you with this idea of strong? Perhaps strong is an unwavering commitment to yourself, your authenticity, to a life of alignment or love or joy. Taking a moment here of pause just to consider what of this resonates. How would you like to incorporate this into your practice today? 
and perhaps going forward off the mat this week, this month, and maybe in the year ahead. And when that exploration feels complete for now, engaging your belly, tuck your pelvis and align your spine once again, pressing hands to heart, taking in an inhale and an exhale, letting it out. And taking a moment to set your intention with clarity, maybe one word, two words, based on what you've thought about, considered, explored in the last few moments. And when you're ready, you can lower your hands and open your eyes and we'll come back together. And you'll bring your hands to your sides, reaching your arms up towards the sky. Take your right thumb and middle finger, grasp your left wrist and grow tall. Engaging your belly, strongly rooting downward. Roots make trees strong. Exhale and tip to the right, Engaging the left side body while stretching it. Huge breath in as you tug that left wrist a tiny bit to the right. And exhale, releasing, letting go feel strong. One more in breath here. Inhale, stretch, lengthen. Nourish yourself to nourish your strength here. And exhale, release. Engage your belly. Rising back up to center, switch the clasp of your hand, right thumb and middle finger, grab the left wrist. Inhale, tall, tall, tall. Grow tall, strong, rooted. Exhale, tip with intention and purpose to the left side, enjoying your whole right side body here. Inhale once again, lengthen, grow, stretch. And exhale, release. Engaging your core and your center. Coming back to center. Reach your arms out to the sides. Palms will face the front and you'll gently bring your arms back a few inches. Your heart is going to shine forward, taking an inhale and letting it fill fully and enjoying it. And an exhale, suck your belly and round your arms, wrapping them in front of you, holding all of the beautiful things in your life in that ball in front of you. And exhaling, arching open, strongly, shining your heart proudly, which is part of being strong out front. Pinch your scapula together as your hands come back. And exhale round, gathering up the beach ball of amazing things you've accomplished and done. Things that show how strong you are. And exhaling, opening wide, wiggle those fingers. Drop your hands down by your waist. Inhaling, reaching them up all the way to the sky. Exhale, once again, like giant windshield wipers, bringing them down by your waist. Inhaling up to the sky. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms to the sky. Do a little shimmy. Notice your root is strong. We say root to rise in yoga. Slight arch back with the inhale. Exhale round, use that belly, sucking all the way back. Press your hands strong forward, release your head and neck. Notice that gripping in the neck is not strong, even though it sometimes feels it. Inhale, reaching tall, slight arch back. Use your core center strength here. Exhale round, suck your belly all the way back. Press your hands forward, enjoy every nook and cranny here. Inhale once again, reach tall. Huge breath in. Filling all the way full, stacking tall, growing. Exhale, tip to the left this time, the opposite side. Enjoy your right side body. Use your core and your rootedness, noticing that that adds to the strong feeling. Inhale back to center. Exhale, tip to the left. Enjoy the strength and stability of that left, left side here. Inhale, come back to center. Exhaling, arms out by your sides. Wrists are... Flex this time, press your hands into the side walls, pinch your shoulders all the way back, strong, 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 and release. Once again, pinch your shoulders tight, tight, tight. Exhale, release. Lowering your hands, wiggle your fingers, shrug your shoulders up and press your occiput strongly into 
your shoulders, cradling it. Tight, tight, tight. Exhale, release and enjoy the tingles, the relaxation. Letting it all up, integrate. Taking another breath here. Close your eyes and just notice for a moment how it feels. And then stretch your legs long. If you're still on a block sitting up, try staying on the block because it's fun. It takes a little bit more strong in the core as you do this, but if it doesn't work, you can hop off. You're going to stretch your legs long and lower your knees a bit towards the earth. Flex your ankles. Toes will come back towards you. Spread your toes strongly, wide, wide, wide. Our toes are even strong. And notice I'm spreading my fingers at the same time. You Notice your belly here. Your belly is your strength. Notice your ischial spines, your whole pelvic area engaged. Inhale and reach your arms up towards the sky as high as you can. Use your belly. Exhale and fold forward towards your shins. And you'll slide down the shins towards your ankles. Your toes are still spread wide and flexed, ankles flexed towards you. And just take a moment and notice all of the energetic shifts here. Huge breath in. If you have capacity, slide down the shins a wee bit more. Relaxing your toes, point your toes. And then flex your ankles towards you. Try bringing your toes out laterally on both sides. Your feet will come lateral and bringing them back to center. Exhale, slide forward a wee bit more. Huge breath in. Notice how the breath is a form of strength. Using it to infuse strong into every nook and cranny. Inhaling the breath, sending it to every cell that is allowing, softening, awakening. Exhale, slide forward a smidge more. Slowly slide up your shins to your knees, to your thighs, and you'll bend your knees if you are on something, a block or a bolster, take it out. <laughs> and we're going to come to hands and knees. Your <clears throat> hands will be directly under your shoulders, knees directly under your hips. Coming to tabletop and find a strong tabletop. Your fingers will be spread wide like pie shapes. Press your palms into the earth. The palms will flatten. You'll engage your elbows, tuck your humeral heads into the shoulder socket. Engage your belly. Notice your knees on the earth and the tops of the feet on the earth. Even this process of pausing and noticing is strong. Inhale, arch for cow and notice. Exhale, round four cat. Just bathing your spine for a moment with stretch and movement. Inhale, four cow. And exhale, four cat. Reaching as tall as you can. Come back to neutral. Find the tabletop. Stretch your right leg long. Inhale, lift it up a little below hip height and pause here. Take a moment to find staple. Notice that taking a moment, pausing, transitioning well is the key to strong. Ground into your right hand, being kind to your wrist. Inhale and raise your left hand, stretch long, long, long. Right heel in one direction, left fingers in the other. Huge breath in. Exhale, bring elbow to knee underneath you. Inhale, reaching long, long, long. Connect with your core here. Exhale, round, fold, connect elbow to knee or whatever works for you. Stretching long. If this doesn't work, just stay where it does work. Either the balance or the toes on the earth. Round, curl, exhale, inhale, stretch long. One more moment here. Stretch long in either direction. Heel one way, fingers the other. Lower your left hand to the earth. Lower your right toes. Drop your right heel to the earth. And reach your right arm up towards the sky, coming into gate pose. Take a minute to find the strong gate. You need to move that left foot forward or back for stability. 
Noticing that the stability and engaging is strong. Exhale, your right arm's gonna reach over your right ear. Inhale, lift your right foot up, coming into a balanced pose here in a way that works for you. Your right heel is gonna extend long, right fingers long. And you'll lower that right foot to the floor. Reach your right arm to the sky. Bring it down into the left hip crease. Roll your shoulder open and gaze upward. That shoulders tucks back. Enjoy the stretch. Huge breath in, drink of breath. And exhale, soften into it. You might notice the front of your right hip here. Notice the outer edge of the right foot connected into the earth. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Once again, just reach it as tall as you can. And lower down, come to hands and knees. Strong would stretch into a cow pose, being kind to your spine. And exhale round into a cat, enjoying it and setting yourself up for success. Engage your belly once again. Find that even stable tabletop. Extend your left foot long behind you. Inhale, lift it up a little below hip height and take a moment here to find your belly and your center. Press the heel to the back wall. When you feel ready, reach your right fingers long. Left heel long, right fingers long. You can wiggle if you wish. Inhale, stretch long. Exhale, elbow to knee, if that works for you. Inhale, stretch long. Exhale, round underneath. You can give your knee a kiss with the elbow. Exhale, stretch long. Find your center as you stretch long and notice that's where the strong comes for the balance. Exhale, round elbow underneath, elbow to knee and stretch long. Bring your right hand down, left toes down. Left heel drops to the right. Reach up into a gate pose. Take a moment and roll out that left wrist if it's cranky. You can exhale your left arm over the left ear. Take a moment to find your kickstand. Where is it strong and stable? Notice that stable is strong. Center to strong. Find your belly and your waist. Inhale, lift up that left foot, coming into a balance pose. Notice when we take our time to move between the poses and transition, how much more strong we are when we arrive. We don't have to grip. Gripping is not strong. Softening in is strong. Press one heel to, press your heel one way, fingers to the other, pardon me. Reach your, lower your, sorry, uh, left foot, outer edge of the left foot's gonna come to the earth. And enjoy that tiny little stretch in your waist as you do that. Inhale, reach your left hand to the sky. Exhale, drop it into the right hip crease. Roll the shoulder open, gaze upward if that works for your body. Tuck the shoulder back an inch or so and notice. And maybe even lower it down towards your waist. If your neck doesn't like this, do something that it does like. Let it drop. Notice what feels good. Inhale, reach that left arm to the sky. Coming back to hands and knees. Bring your toes together, knees apart. Drop into child's pose. Heels will reach long, 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 and your fingers will stretch long in front. Lower your forehead to the floor and connect into the earth. Taking a moment to notice how you feel. Notice the strong connection here with your body, with the earth underneath you. And take a moment here to once again, appreciate how strong you are. Not in a gripping, pushing your way through things or being mean to yourself, but your inherent strong. Notice all the things you've done well, breathing in and breathing out. 
Feeling proud is a part of being strong. Trusting yourself and believing in yourself is part of strong. All of you are amazing humans, and yet many of us struggle with being proud, trusting, and believing in ourselves. But perhaps if it was part of strong, stable, centered, feeling robust, we might do more of it. Wiggle your fingers farther in front and enjoy your waist and drop your hips a wee bit more towards your heels if you can. And breathe. Taking time to breathe is strong and something most of us miss out on. We Most of us use less than 30% of our lung volumes in regular breathing. And so breathe full and deeply. When you feel complete here, come back to tabletop. Perhaps enjoy a quick cat cow if your spine would like it. And we will come into downward dog. Bring your hands forward and handprint, curl your toes and lift your hips up to the sky. And find a downward dog that is stable and strong for you. It might be more narrow for some of you. It might be longer for some of you. It might be on your hands and knees for some of you. So take a moment and find one that feels strong, not to be not precarious. Some of you might wanna use blocks under your hands if you have cranky wrists. And bend one knee, press the other to the earth and enjoy that one leg lengthening. Bend the other knee, press the other heel to the earth and enjoy that. Lifting up onto your tippy toes as high as you can, press strong into your hands, reach your hips towards the sky, press your forehead towards the floor. It won't come to the floor and enjoy the spine stretch. Lifting high, high, high on your tippy toes. Your hips are the apex, big breath in. Exhale, release and lower your heels to the earth and enjoy. Take a moment to find your belly. Finding your navel, your center, your core. Inhale and raise your left leg to the sky using that belly you found. Exhale, gently bring your knee towards your nose between your hands and you'll bring your left foot forward. Drop your right heel and cartwheel open into warrior two. In yoga, the warriors are excuse me, poses of strength. And yet they're still. Inhale, grow your torso tall towards the sky. Exhale, bend your front knee. Take a moment to make sure your knee is not bending in front of your left ankle. Your hands will be shoulder height, pressing in either direction. Inhale, reach tall with your chest, heart shines forward. Exhale, sink into warrior two. Huge breath here, pause and enjoy. Drishti or your gaze is focused on that left middle finger in front. Taking a no moment to feel strong here, whatever your warrior two looks like. Huge drink of breath, pouring it in down through your throat, all the way into your belly. Exhale, right hand's gonna slide down the right leg, coming into peaceful warrior. Also a very strong pose. Huge breath into the whole left rib cage, left waist. Exhale, sink into that front knee a wee bit more. Inhale, straighten your front knee with your hand still reaching towards the crease between the sky and the, the wall and the ceiling. Exhale, bend your front knee coming back into peaceful warrior. Inhale, straight. Exhale, cartwheel your hands back up to warrior two and pause here for a moment in warrior two. Straight your front knee, your right hip's going to shoot back and we're going to drop into trikonasana triangle, which is a pose where you are strong in all kinds of triangular shapes. Ground your right heel into the earth, bring your left hand as 
far, far forward as you can while still fully upright. Exhale, lower down into Trikonasana. Blocks actually help you be strong and build strength in a different way. So if you happen to have them already, drop your hand onto a block. Allow that to be strong. And notice how getting help is strong. Bringing the floor up to that left hand is strong. Right hand is gonna to reach towards the sky. Roll open your chest and gaze up if your neck enjoys it. If it doesn't enjoy it, it's not strong and you should let it hang. You might notice even today that one feels different than the other. Enjoying this triangle, noticing the shapes, noticing what feels strong. Big breath in here. Exhale, rise back upright. You're gonna turn your hips towards the front, bring your arms up, hop your back foot out, come into warrior one. Warrior one, your hip, both hips are facing directly forward to the front of the mat. Your torso is turned, your arms are up. Huge breath in, growing tall, lengthening. Growth is strength. Like a tree growing towards the sun. Exhale, bend that front knee and sink in. Your back heel may or may not be on the earth. It doesn't matter. You should have a wee stretch in the calf. Inhale, grow tall, lengthen your arms as tall, tall, tall as you can. And exhale, sinking into warrior one. Just pause and notice. Notice that the pause is where you notice your strength and you find strong. Open your arms out to the sides. Press your hands into the side walls. Pinch your scapula here, exhale, release. Lower your hands to your sacrum, clasp them. Press your fists to the earth, shoulders down and back. Heart is shining forward, allowing a little proud chest puff. Huge breath in. Drop your chin to chest and enjoy the neck stretch. And take a moment here to notice all the strong, everything working, engaged. Another breath here. For anyone that wishes, you can fold forward to the inside of that left knee and reach your arms up into a peaceful, humble warrior, we call this. You can drop your head to that block if it happens to still be there. Just do what works here. Don't overdo it. That is not strong. Enjoying that left leg and all the strength it has. Shake your head yes and no if you're down in Humble Warrior so you're not gripping. And notice when you release your neck, the rest of you is stronger. Lower your hands back to your sacrum. Drop your shoulders and sink in for a moment. Inhale, engage that belly and rise up. Taking a moment when you arrive, press your fists downwards, puff your chest out once again, and enjoy everything integrating the blood flow. Notice that being purposeful and intentional is strong, moving from one to the other, rather than just rushing back to the next pose. Huge breath in and out. We are gonna come into warrior three for those of you who want to do it. If you don't want to do it, you can take your block or use a wall to help you um, or just hang out here in warrior one, but let it be a more relaxed warrior one so you're not fully engaging everything. For those of you who wanna do warrior three, bring your hands to heart center, thumbs will come to your sternum. Press them together strong. Lift up onto the back toes, hop your back foot forward about 18 inches. Engage your left leg, use your toes for help. Lift them all five toes up, rooting them downward. Rooting is strong, ground the bottom of your foot. Find the whole surface area of that front foot. Bend your left knee and raise your back leg, right leg up and tip forward. Press the thumbs into your sternum. Press your heel towards the back wall or wherever it is. And find your warrior three today. Roll that back ankle if it needs a little care. And hang out. If you wanna reach your arms forward, you can do that. To the side, you can do that. If you wanna hold on to something, you can do that. 
Notice what feels good here. And notice when you grip as you wiggle and wobble, it's less strong. Use the breath. Connect with your belly, your Dantean center, your core to be more strong. Lower that back heel. Reach your arms back up to warrior one. Opening them out to the sides. You're gonna turn your left heel towards the side of your mat and open towards the side, sideways on the mat. So you're gonna come into like a star pose. And pause here for a moment, just letting that blood flow adjust, wiggle your fingers, bend your knees coming into goddess pose. Be kind to your knees. Your feet should be wide enough. Your feet are in a second position. Your knees will come out over your toes and your arms will come down into a cactus shape. Palms face forward. Huge breath in and out as you sink down a little bit more. You can tuck your elbows back if that feels good. Exhale, sink in a little bit more. Raising your arms up and bringing them down to your waist in like that um, window washing type of movement. Letting some movement come into the spine, the shoulders, and coming back to the cactus shape. Raise your right heel and lower. Come back to the breath. Notice if you're holding your breath, left heel and lower. Both heels and lower. And we'll shoot back up into that star. Wiggle your fingers, have a little fun with it. Bringing your hands back to your waist. Turn your toes towards the back. So we're gonna to come to warrior two on the opposite side. If you're set up for the screen, it doesn't work, just change directions. <laughs> and cartwheel open, bend the front knee. Come into warrior two on this side. Notice your front knee, make sure it's not extending beyond your ankle. Gaze is over the right middle fingers this time. Find a strong warrior. Connect here, actually, if you close your eyes. Notice where your internal sense of groundedness, safety, strength is. You might know immediately. Send the breath there. Breathe into it and bend that knee. Sink in a little bit more. Just notice. Huge inhale, exhale, tip backwards into peaceful warrior, right arm's gonna reach over, stretching and opening the whole right front rib cage. Often being open is strong, being resistant, closed, tight, wastes a lot of energy, gets you out of strong and into tired. Breathing in and out. Straight that front knee and bend. And straight your front knee and bend it. Cartwheel your arms back to warrior two. Left hip's gonna shoot back towards the back of the mat or the front, whichever way you're reaching. Your right hands will reach as far over your right toes as possible. And you'll drop into Trikonasana. And if you can find a block nearby, use that. Reaching that left hand up towards the sky. Find a strong triangle pose. You'll tuck your left shoulder back. You'll gaze up or down and notice your belly. Roll your belly open. Engage your left inner thigh. Engage your right thigh. Rolling it medially. And just notice, play with engaging different parts and notice what feels strong. Notice the soles of your feet. Do they help you feel strong? Breathe into it. Exhale, let it out. Two more breaths here. Just allow yourself to enjoy Trikonasana fully. <clears throat> Rising back up, arms straight. We'll turn our waist towards the back, coming into the, the parallel forwards, flip the left leg out a wee, wee bit and come into warrior one on this side. Your right knee is bent, arms reaching towards the sky, 
Tack that right hip back and left hip forward. Inhale and stretch down into warrior one. Your back foot is not quite as much on an angle as it was in warrior two. Huge inhale, grow as tall, tall, tall as you can. Exhale, sink in. Once again, inhale, grow as tall as you can. Exhale, sink in. You'll bring your arms out to the sides. Pinch your scapula together if that feels good. So release and lower towards your sacrum. Clasp your hands together, press your fists to the floor. Shine that heart forward, puff your chest forward. Shoulders will come down and back. Perhaps close your eyes and connect with that proud sensation. How can you trust yourself? What have you done in life that you're proud of? Maybe even one thing you did today you're proud of. Got out of bed, made coffee, or you're here for yoga. Press your hands towards the floor. Heart is shining forward. For anyone that wishes, we'll fold forward into peaceful, humble warrior. And what? Everyone has a different name for these. To inside of the right knee. You can leave your hands at your sacrum if that feels more strong and stable. Notice what feels good. Some of you will be flexible enough. You can even bring your forehead to that block. If your hands are reaching to the sky, lower them to the sacrum. Pause here. Notice if you're holding your breath. And please breathe. And slowly rise up. Press your fists to the floor. Heart is shining forward once again. Puff that chest forward. Reminds me of the puffer fish. Exhale, sink in. You can stay here, or for those of you for whom Warrior Three would be fun, you'll bring your hands to heart center. Press your thumbs into your sternum, palms together. This adds to your strength and your balance. Press them into the sternum. All of the connections, connecting is strong. Lift up all five toes on that right foot, lower them down, rooting into the earth. Lift up off the back foot, hop forward about six to 18 inches, depending on your stance. And you'll shift into the front foot, raising the back foot up, tip forward into warrior three. You can roll your ankle, if that feels good. Notice what your body needs here. You can move your arms if that feels good. Choose the warrior three that you enjoy. Lower back down into the warrior one feet. Reach your arms up towards the sky, bringing them out and down to your hips. And we'll turn back towards the side of the mat. You can just heel toe your feet back together and whatever view is better for you in terms of seeing whatever you wanna see, you can come back to the front of the mat, stay on the side of your mat, whatever's good for you. We are gonna come down into a yogi squat. Your knees, your feet will be a little farther than hip width. Toes are in that second position. You just bend your knees and come down. If you happen to have a block, you can use that. It's kind of lovely, especially if you have heels that don't reach the earth like I do. Some of you will wanna put the block underneath you and sit on it. That is also a beautiful, stable, strong yogi squat. And sometimes strong is using the block. This pose is intended to connect you into that root chakra in your pelvis. There's lots of inner knowing there. And for women, and this class is almost always women, there's a lot of power there and strong there. And so closing your eyes, if that's possible, and enjoying that inner root core strength. Noticing here, as you press your hands into your sternum and palms together, thumbs pressed together, just noticing your robustness, your aliveness. Perhaps your creativity is your strength. Connecting with what is strong. What is strong already, not what needs to be more strong. Because when we feel strong, we're inspired to do lots of new, amazing, wonderful things. 
that feel good to us and others and make the world a better place. How are you already strong? When you feel strong, what does it feel like? Can you bring a little bit of that forward? And when you feel complete here, lower your hands, bring your heels back in line with your toes and fall forward into a forward fold. You can grasp your elbows, drop your head and neck, hang, have a sway, maybe bend one knee and the other, releasing any tightness, tension, kinks. Drop your head and neck, release. And here you can choose to do the one-handed twist where you place the left hand on the earth, spread your fingers wide, but, but, but immediately between your feet, bend your left knee and twist to the right. Or some of you will wish to clasp your hands at your sacrum and fall forward and bend one knee and twist to the right. Notice what your body craves today. I encourage you to see which one is right for you. Some days I love one and some days I love the other. The hands clasp is a little more shoulders. The one hand on the floor is a little more IT bend and hips. Bend your right knee and switch sides. So you'll gaze to the left. Right hand will be on the floor or both hands in the air, whatever is good for you. Whew. Breathe. Come back to center. Bend your knees super generously and let your hands fall forward. Release the shoulders here. Lift up all five toes and lower them to the earth. Let your hands fall forward a little bit more. Bring your hands to your hips. Run them down the backs of your legs. Engage your belly and rolling up strong. Inch by inch, pearls on a string, rolling, 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 taking your time and enjoying it until you arrive standing. And strong would let everything adjust before moving on, letting the blood flow, tingles, subside, enjoy it. Notice how you feel. Huge breath in and out. We'll bring our feet closer together and taking your time so you feel steady. You'll bring your hands together once again, palms together, thumbs come together, bring your thumbs to your sternum and lift up onto your tippy toes. High as you can. Press your thumbs into your sternum. Lifting as high as you can, high, high, high. And we will slowly lower down in a careful, purposeful way. If your knees don't like this, just stay upright. For everyone else, you'll bend down and you'll slowly sink all the way down to the earth. Use your hands and your thumbs to help you. Lowering all the way down, pausing where your knees need you to or would like you to is a better way to say that. Take a moment at the bottom, breathe. When you're ready, engage your belly first. Press your hands together, thumbs to the sternum, and slowly using your core and your center, lifting all the way up on your tippy toes still, noticing the wiggles and the wobbles. Lower your feet down and release everything. Roll out all the kinks, legs, feet, ankles, anything that would like to be rolled out, shaking your hands perhaps. Notice where you need it. You may need to shrug your shoulders up to your ears, drop your occiput into the ears, and we'll open our hand or drop your shoulders, open your hands forward, coming into Tadasana or Mountain Pose. One of the most strong poses in yoga, and taking a moment to enjoy your mountain. You are a mountain of strength, most of you. How would you like to channel strong as you move forward? Noticing the lessons and invitation from Tadasana or mountain pose. Noticing what you need. Notice if you wiggle, where are the wiggles? My fingers tend to wiggle, which means I usually need to soften to be strong. I like to lift up my toes and root them downward and connect with the soles of my feet. That helps me feel more steady and grounded and rooted. Notice your belly. Is that where strong emanates from. 
and notice the breath. How does it contribute? If it feels good for you, keep your eyes closed and we'll stay here for five breaths. So find a Tadasana that feels delicious and lovely and embody this concept of strong, whatever it is for you. Let yourself feel it and connect with it. Let your cells know it so you can come back to it. And notice that it's peaceful. Notice that it's calm. It's aware. It's still. And when you truly connect it with it, you are embodying it, you feel strong. Bring one hand to heart and the other hand to top. Appreciating that sensation, perhaps capturing it to take with you. And also appreciating your journey and messages before today about being strong and what it takes and what strength is and working hard is. And just compassion for all of that, for those people that shared that view with you, for cultures you're a part of that have that view. Allowing that self-compassion, loving kindness for everyone and all beings. And notice how that contributes to this sense of steadiness, strong, stable. Your word might be different. Just allow yourself to connect with whatever that feeling is, that feeling that you want. When you feel complete, you'll lower your hands and open your eyes. And we are going to come to lying down, roll out your ankles or anything that might need rolling before you arrive. And you can come to lying down today, however it feels fun. You may like to roll down or just plop down, whatever feels good to you. And when you arrive, notice what feels good to you. Maybe you want to bring your knees into your chest and have a roll, massage your lower back. Maybe you want to allow yourself to land in stillness and notice how you landed. Knees bent, legs straight. Let yourself sink in and absorb that energy. Let yourself rest. Rest and diastole and refilling are part of being strong part of feeling strong for sure. Depleted and exhausted is not strong. Notice your breath. Connect with it once again. And you will bring your, bend your knees, soles of the feet on the earth, bring your heels all the way towards your rear end. Notice your fingers, palms will face down. We will lift up into a bridge pose. If you happen to have blocks and like supported bridge, or you feel like you need that today, you can do that. Otherwise, lift your hips up as high as you can. Ensure that your knees are not folded more than 90 degrees, because that is not kind or strong. And hurt knees are not strong. Lift your hips up as high as you can. Engage your glutes, some of the strongest muscles in your body. Shimmy your shoulders underneath you. Open your chest. Open hearted is strong. Lifting your hips up, knees connect together. Everything engaged. You may even notice some shaking. Lift up onto your toes, heels will lift up if you have room. If not, a supported bridge can be more strong on some days. Lower your heels down, lift your hips up. Another smidge. Untuck your shoulders and roll down with intention, with purpose, unrolling your spine, relaxing each muscle intentionally, noticing it, appreciating it, thanking it, lowering down until you hit the earth. Take a moment to arrive and melt. Let the earth hold you.
Bring your right ankle to the left knee. We're gonna come into a figure four. Bring your hands around the back of the left thigh and lift your left foot if that works for you. Flex your ankles, press your elbow into the right knee and enjoy the right hip. You may wish to put your hands on your shin. You can bend that left knee more. Notice what your body craves today. Perhaps even rock on your sacrum here and massage the sacrum. Come to stillness. If you have room, bring your hands to your shin and notice how that feels. Come back to the breath. Pour it in and release it. Bring your hands to the back of your thigh if they're not there already. Extend your left leg towards the sky. You'll flex your ankle, bring your toes to your nose, press your hands into your hamstring and reach the heel to the sky. Lots of left leg engagement. Your leg may be shaking. Point your toes and flex your toes towards your nose. Heel will press to the sky. Bend your left knee, lower your foot to the floor, reach your arms over your head in a cactus shape, if that works for your space and your shoulders and or a T shape, and you will we'll drop your right sole of the foot to the left. You're essentially gonna twist to the left with your feet in figure four. You may need to adjust if your wall is nearby and your arms will stay what, where it feels good for your shoulder. And it might be different today than usual. In winter, our bodies feel different. You should notice a bit of a waist stretch here in this figure four twist. The right sole of the foot is on the earth, left outer edge of the left leg is on the floor. I know there's some new folks today. So if you haven't done this before, you can also take a look at me. Taking in a big drink of breath. And if you have room, gaze to the right. It will change things, tiny movements, big shifts. Let the breath pour into every cell. We know that muscles with oxygen are strong. Bodies that have more oxygen and more breath and more nourishment are strong. What does your body need going forward? What would it like? What would it crave? Not what does the book say, do more of this or that, but what does your body tell you? We were taught not to listen, but there's tremendous wisdom and growth and freedom in listening to your body. Our bodies are wise. Our minds are often less wise than our bodies. And we could use them as a tool to be strong. Bring your gaze back to center. You will bring your knees back to center. Uncross your knees. Readjust your sacrum. Bring your hands to your shins. Bring both knees into your chest and have a little rock massaging, undoing any kinks, massaging all the very edge of the sacrum as far as you can without tipping over. Hug your knees into your chest. Bring your forehead to your knees, squeezing tight. And exhale. Release, your feet will come to the earth, knees bent, taking a moment to land in a way where things feel mostly organized. And you will bring your left heel to the right knee. Thread your hands through the back of the right thigh. Bring your knee in towards you, coming into figure four. Ankles are flexed to be kind to your knees, i.e. not hurt your knees. Always being kind. Yoga is about ahimsa and do no harm. And strong would do no harm. Strong would be aware of what causes you harm, what old habits, comparing and despairing, trying to keep up with somebody else's body that's different than yours. Press that left elbow into the left knee. If you have room, you can bring your right hand to your shins. If you have room, you can rock. Notice what feels good. Learning to listen to your body is strong. 
And even this practice of choosing words or choosing desires or intentions, things you would like more of, it requires listening to your body, listening to your inner voice, which we can't hear when we are moving so fast, slowing down. So here in this pause is an invitation to think about perhaps what you desire more of. Maybe it is or isn't strong. Strong is a um, way of being intentional and purposeful. So what would you like to be intentional about doing more? Bring your hands to the back of your right thigh. Extend your right leg. Heel comes towards the sky. Press your heel towards the sky, toes towards your nose, right hamstring into your hands. Your leg is still crossed over. Pressing tall, 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 everything engaged, lots of sensations, breathe. Exhale, point your toes to the sky, enjoy your shin. Point, point, point with intention and purpose, strong point. Relax your ankle, lower, Bend your knee, release your hands, lower your right sole of the foot to the floor. You'll bring your hands back to that cactus T, or if that doesn't work for your shoulders today, my shoulders are cranky today. So notice that I'm opting out of that. You will drop your right sole of your foot, sorry, left sole of the foot to the right side, right outer thigh to the floor, and bring your hands after your feet land, you may find a spot that works okay for your hands. Enjoy your waist, enjoy the twist. And notice this side may look different and that's fine. If you have room, gaze to the left. Breathe. Begin to relax fully, even here, as we transition into the integration poses, but let your body just begin to slow down. Notice if you hesitated to relax, wondering if it was okay, and give yourself permission to do so. Bring your gaze back to center, and you'll bring your knees back to center slowly. Find your sacrum on the earth, uncross your feet, Bring the soles of your feet to the floor first and readjust the sacrum, the shoulders, everything being kind. So that when you land, it feels good. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees apart, coming into Supta Baddha Konasana or reclining butterfly. One of the most restorative poses in yoga. For those of you who do shift work, highly recommend this one as a reset. Bring one hand to heart and one hand to belly. Notice your chest rise and fall. Notice your belly rise and fall with the breath and allow everything to flow. Preparing yourself for final resting pose. Setting yourself up for success. Allowing that peace and ease and calm. Remembering that the rest and the integration is part of strong. It's required for systole and required for the lives that most of us lead. Allowing yourself to savor it, enjoy it, appreciate it, letting it into every nook and cranny. And you can stay here for Shavasana if you wish, or spread your legs, stretch them long, reaching them towards the front of the mat, allowing your feet to fall towards the outer edges and your palms can come off heart and belly to your sides, palms open or palms down. Let your body decide where they'd like to be today. Taking in a big deep breath wherever you are and a purposeful out breath, letting go and setting the intention to soften, relax, surrender, let the earth hold you. 
Let control of the breath go. And allow yourself to be, to float, to enjoy for a few moments here. Feel free to stay as long as you want. The beauty of yoga in this format. Allow yourself to savor it fully. If that would feel good. For those who would like to come out. Gently reconnect with the breath. A little bit deeper inhale and exhale. Wiggle fingers and toes. And when you feel ready, take a big deep inhale and stretch in any way that feels good today. Could be long above, long in front, could be something else. Enjoying that full breath again. And if you're still in Shavasana, allow yourself to enjoy. And for everyone coming out, make your way to a seat today, taking time, doing it in a way that works for you. Strong knows the way that would feel best to get there today. And finding a strong, comfortable, easeful seat. Connect your sit bones or ischial spines into the earth, engaging your belly, stacking your spine, aligning, lengthen your neck, reach towards the sky. Huge breath in and out. Bring a hand to heart and the other hand to top. Pressing in, releasing oxytocin. Sending yourself thanks and gratitude and appreciation. Sending everyone here thanks and gratitude and appreciation. Noticing for a moment how you feel. Does it feel strong and yet different than what your thought about strong might be? Let yourself enjoy it. May you all enjoy a week of feeling strong, feeling calm, being at peace, trusting, and feeling confident that being you is strong. Have a beautiful week ahead. The light in me honors and reflects the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Namaste.